Hi, okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the trackback feed plugin and how it works with our indexing tool. Remember, the only way to get hold of this plugin um, is as a bonus with the indexing tool. So they, they go both together so well that it was just the perfect pair to put together, as it were. Okay, um, this is the dashboard for one of my sites and you just go to plugins and you just upload it as normal if you're unsure how to upload a plugin um, there are videos that I've made showing you how to do it uh, which you can find either at my thenewbiehelper.com or when you buy the indexing plugin it's there as well okay so just upload it as normal and track back feed Okay, and this is the URL. It creates an RSS feed, so just copy that. You have to put it in a notepad, and then you will need to actually change to put in your domain. Um, you're not allowed to put PHP code in here, so we couldn't make it actually go live and pull the domain info. So I'm sorry to say you will have to do a little bit of work. Now, again, copy that and let's open a new tab okay and there you go that's what the feed looks like okay so these are all links to your trackbacks so these are pages that display an article with a link back to my website the weight loss market now I'll just show you the weight loss market there you go now obviously unless these are indexed they're no use to me so you've got this feed okay copy it and then what I do is I go to my indexing tool now I put them on a different site because I don't really know why <laughs> well because this agony aunt has got a PR2 I think and the um, weight loss site hasn't but I would probably use them on a different site from the one they're actually linking back to um, not sure it makes a huge difference but it's just my personal choice okay so I've already installed the indexing tool and what I would do is I would put the link in there okay I would decide how many links I want it to show choose the pages I want it to show below each post and how often do I want it to check um, save then the software will go through and it will check each link okay so it will check these pages and see if they're indexed now, you're going to find that a lot of them aren't. If you're using a service like, I don't know, UAW or I think it's AMA, isn't it? You know, obviously these have a, a lot of articles, a lot of websites in their network. And they're not all going to be indexed. They're just not. So you'll find this is an index, which means it will be displayed in the front of the site. And here's what they'll look like. There you go, it's these here. So you could have five, you could have ten, you could have as many as you like. And they will show, sorry, uh, on the bottom of each post. Okay, you can have them show on pages as well if you wish. And as they are indexed, they will be removed from this list. There you go these links will not be displayed well they're not being displayed because they're already indexed so as you can see I've already got well there's quite a lot of links there back to my site now what you could do okay is collect so upload this plugin okay 
to all your different sites, collect all the RSS feeds together in a little notepad. So just have them all here. And then go to rssmix.com and mash them all up together. Okay, so rather than seeing lots of links with the same title, you'll get the all different ones in there. So it would be all mixed up. And there is a video when you buy the indexing tool, there is a video on how to use RSS Mix. Okay, I hope that's helped. As I said, this is a really simple little plugin. It's just track back feed, okay? And it comes free as a bonus with the indexing tool. So just go to indexingtool.com and uh, you get both of them, okay? You get both of these and they make a perfect pair. They really are a great pair. And it finally means that we're going to get our full money's worth out of things like UAW and AMA and all these other sites. It's going to help them because you're going to help get their pages indexed and it's going to help you because all your links um, are worth more. Because really, if you've got an article out there and Google will never find it, you might as well not have it out there. Okay, I hope this makes sense. It is a quick video. If you've got any questions, contact me. Feel free to contact me. Okay, cheers.